One day, Lord Chaitanya told Haridas Thakur Nityananda Prabhu that you should go to every house, to every shop, to every bathing ghat and give this simple message. Worship Krishna. Remember Krishna. Speak about Krishna and chant the names of Krishna. Krishna is your mother. Krishna is your father. Krishna is your true wealth. Krishna is your very life and soul. In this way, inspire everyone to meditate in Krishna and chant the names of Krishna. Thakur Haridas and Nityananda Prabhu took this instruction as their very life and soul. Lochandas Thakur in one beautiful prayer, he describes how Nityananda Prabhu, although he is the supreme absolute truth, the source of Mahavishnu, the source of all other incarnations, who is all powerful, he came with such mercy and kindness that he took the role like a human. And he would go door to door and beg people, please take the name of Krishna. Vajra Goranga, Kaho Goranga, Laho Goranga. Um, take the name of Lord Goranga. He has come with this mercy. What is the mercy of Lord Chaitanya? Rupa Goswami describes Namo Mahabharata Naya Krishna Prema Padayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namani Gaudat Vishena. Lord Chaitanya is Krishna. The sweetness, the charm, the beauty, the lila of Krishna with the added feature of being so magnanimous that he's freely giving love of Krishna to others. Radha Krishna in Vrindavan, when they perform their pastimes, it's very confidential. Lord Chaitanya is Krishna in the mood of Sri Radha's love, who's making their pastimes, making Vrindavan accessible even to the most fallen. But those who were even too fallen for Lord Chaitanya to directly associate with. He said, Nityananda Prabhu, as the supreme manifestation of his compassion. And here is God himself who loves us so dearly. He's going house to house begging, please take the name of Krishna and be happy. Some would accept, some were doubtful, some were blasphemous, while others accepted with such a gracious heart. Others would say you are a, you are a pretender. You are a cheater and spread propaganda. These people are just coming to our houses in the name of being saints, but actually they're thieves, they're rogues. They're seeing what's in our house so that someday they could come and rob us. Even those who, who, who were condemning and chastising Nityananda Prabhu, he would get on his hands and knees. He would prostrate himself at their feet with tears in his eyes and beg them, it's all right, whatever you say, but take the name of Krishna. Be happy. As Balaram Romaharshan Sutta 
Nityananda Prabhu, seeing his arrogance with a blade of grass, he ended the life of Romaharsha. But now that same type of arrogance, Balaram came as Nityananda and put that grass between his teeth and begged people, please accept Lord Chaitanya's mercy. He would roll in dust on the ground in his appeal for people to take the name of God. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.